There we go, gotta find the sweet spot. Let's see if I can bring that reticle in closer. So I ended up choosing this one because it had the widest field of view at the lowest magnification and at the highest magnification in comparison to the two or three other scopes I was looking at. They were all in the $150 price range. Some had different uh, reticles. Um, the only one of the Nikon I can actually stand looking at is the Nikoplex, which is just nice, plain, basic, but this was the next best thing. I uh, like that it said slug gun it made me reassured me that he'd be able to take the recoil of a shotgun. And let's get inside. Alright, a little bit of bubble wrap, silica gel pack in there. Set that aside. Let's see what we got in here. User guide. Instruction manual, fair enough. There's that right there. Those were the two pictures that I was most interested in looking at. Glad to know they're in here. Oops, sorry about that. That was noobish. Oh, so no, no lens covers. Fair enough. I'm paying for the scope more than I'm paying for lens covers. So save a little bit of money and not have those, that's perfectly okay with me. Uh, this is very highly doubtful I'll be able to show you the reticle in indoors. But, I will give it a shot. Super is the lens. Ba -ba -ba. My god, this is incredibly difficult. I think we might have to uh, wait what till it's mounted on the uh, shotgun. And sitting on, on a bench in a vise. And then I can uh, get the camera behind it and show you all a little bit better. In the meantime, there's their little logo. That's the plan. Tight. Nice. That is also tight. Very nice, simple crosshair or uh, reticle, not too busy. Very small little nub right there for your uh, magnification. It's got a set screw down here. I'll have to check and read the instructions manual, see if you can uh, adjust this, the bump 
to be over a specific magnification of your choice. But as it came from the factory for me, it was right over the four, which is fine, right around the middle. Very nice and clean. Let's check out a dirt. Got our little marks facing us. That's good. There's a little O-ring all the way around. Right here. For your waterproofness. Any minute now. Half MOA is perfectly acceptable for a 12 gauge slug, so I am perfectly chill with that. And let's listen to them. I like that. Not super loud, but you can hear them. And they are kept, so they're nice and protected. So this was the quick unboxing of the Burris Drop Tine Slug Gun in the 2 to 7 by 35 millimeter objective lens. So uh, I will be back once we got this bad boy mounted. And as soon as I get this cat under control. All right. Oh yes, Baxter, it's all about you. It's all about you. That's why the camera comes out.